Hi Aquarius. Happy birthday. It's Roxy. Aquarius, I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. Sun. Moon. Ooh, look at that card that just flew out. Moon. Rising. And Venus. Aquarius, I hope you're staying safe out there. I hope you have a happy birthday. Eat lots of cake for me. <laughs> hey, if a cake's not your thing, drink some champagne for me. I don't know what your thing is. Whatever your thing is, make yourself happy, Aquarius. That's all. all right? And please stay safe during this coronavirus pandemic that we're going through. Aquarius, as you know, not every reading can resonate with every Aquarius out there. So just take what makes sense and leave the rest, okay? Aquarius, I'm using the Ghost Tarot. Now, I love this deck because it reminds me of the Haunted Mansion in Disney World. Ooh, look at those two cards. Those two cards, oh, three cards fall out. Wow. Yeah, I love this deck. It's, it's really funny, the images on it. And I pull four Oracle cards. I'm sorry, three Oracle cards for you at the end. I'll show it to you, okay? So, during the pre-shuffle Aquarius, a couple cards fell out. Three, okay? And I took them. The first card is the death card. This is Major Arcana. Death card is change and transformation, okay? So if a change hasn't come into your life already, Aquarius, it's coming, right? And I think you want this change because you're kind of tired of whatever your life is right now. And this change could also bring a King of Pentacles into your life, Aquarius. A Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn. It can be uh, a love interest. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. Right, um, it could be a boss, right? It's a general, so it could be anybody, but it's definitely an earth sign, okay? And this person could have money, or they be, could be offering you money, Aquarius, okay? That's the second card that fell out. The third card that fell out is the three of, I'm sorry, the eight of pentacles. I'm losing it, I'm tired. <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, again, another earth sign. Now, this is you, um, you could be working very hard on a project at work, or you could be putting a lot of time and energy into a relationship. Whatever it is, you're using a lot of your time, energy, love, um, you know, input into something or someone. Okay, that was the third card to fill out. Hmm. The Three of Cups. Now, this is celebration. This could be a birthday, um, a party, um, graduation, a promotion at your job. Okay, it also could be a third party, unfortunately. Hopefully, that's not the situation, right? Hopefully, you're not putting somebody into a third party or they're trying to put you into one. Goodness, no. We don't do third parties here. <laughs> right? Okay, this is the Nine of Pentacles. So, um, you could be single and you're going to get into a relationship with this person. Nine of Pentacles is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Again, that's very interesting. There's a lot of Pentacles here. This is you um, being self-sufficient, okay? This is being independent, standing on your own two feet. I mean, of course, you really don't have to have anybody pay your bills or anything like that. You can do it yourself. And that's the Pre-Empress card anyway also, so... I mean, you can do everything for yourself. Um, you might have been hurt in the past and you don't want to take any offers right now. Four of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? Or you could have uh, a water sign around you that you don't want to take an offer from, right? Let's see here. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Um, whoever you're dealing with or might be dealing with in the future, you might think they're sneaky. Seven of Cups is usually um, the illusions card, okay? You might think they're sneaky and, um, they could, they could have options or you could think they have options, okay? Let's see. Uh, this card doesn't want to come off the table. <laughs> it's like, it's, I'm stuck. Yeah, four of wands. Um, let's see, the person that's coming into your life, you may want a relationship with them or maybe even marriage or they could want this with you, Right? But you're, you could be guarded and you're just taking it day by day, right, to see where it goes. Because I don't think you want to be hurt again. I think that's what the premise is of all this. You know what I'm saying? Eight of Wands, yeah. You'll get a lot of communication from them now. Aries or Sagittarius, you can be dealing with a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. But um, they'll want to talk to you and you'll want to talk to them. You know, a lot of communication and reciprocity, okay? Queen of Swords, I mean, you might... You might have been scorned in the past. This is your energy, Aquarius. Aquarius Super Gemini. And you're trying to get over that with this new person, right? But you're still guarded, right? You don't want to get hurt again. Hey, I can't blame you. 
Ten of Swords, yeah. The last person may have betrayed you. Ten of Swords is Aquarius of the Gemini. This is your energy. This is the end of a cycle also. But it's also betrayal, you know, ten, ten swords in your back. So, and you don't want that to happen again. You're like, no thank you. I don't blame you. And when you come in to come out the smelling of roses, you're very loving, you're very caring. This is Empress, Major Arcana, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Aries energy. Okay, you're very kind, you're very loving. You take care of everybody, okay? Hmm. Seven of Pentacles. You're going to put a lot of uh, time and energy again. You're working hard in your job, and you're going to work hard in this relationship that's coming in. You're going to give it your all, your 100%. Okay, now I picked three oracle cards for you. The first one says shine from within. This is the oracle of the fairies, okay? I'm going to read it to you, Aquarius. It says shine from within. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within, and it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and revealing your true beauty. Okay? Now, message in a bottle. Okay? This is basically saying you might want to talk to somebody. Or they may want to communicate with you, right? Definitely communication wants to come through. But you may have blocked this person and you don't want to talk to them, right? And the last one, my good friend of mine, Natasha, sent me these cards. They're very beautiful. It's the uh, Angels and Ancestors or cards by Kyle Gray. I'm going to read you the card, okay? It says Spring. Spring, embrace the change that is on the horizon for you, Aquarius. Allow your dreams to become a reality now. Spring is an exciting time because it has so much potential. Animals are coming out of hibernation. Flowers are pushing up through the soil. And the days are getting higher and lighter and brighter. The spring card features a wild hare because in Celtic animal medicine, the hare brings intuition and rebirth, right? Hares are highly fertile beings, and so their medicine can bring dreams to life. Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great birthday. I hope you like this reading. Please stay safe out there. Be well. Eat lots of cake for me, okay? <laughs> or whatever makes you happy. A cookie, I don't know. Whatever makes you happy. Just make sure you make yourself happy on your birthday. I'm sending you love, peace, blessings, kisses. Mwah, Aquarius. Take care. See you next time. Bye.